So one of the strongest features when it comes to the Panasonic G85, in my opinion, is the 4K 24P. And that's for a lot of different reasons. The reason I tend to go for the 24P on the G85 over like the GH4 is the in-body image stabilization. And the stabilization is so good on this that really 24p is usable. So while I tend to opt for the GH4 when it comes to 60p, uh, whenever I'm shooting any talking head stuff or any 24p footage in 4K, I always like to have the G85 on hand. Now, all this footage that I'm going to be shooting is going to be in 24p, 4K, MP4 at 100 megabits per second. Everything's going to be handheld. The only adjustments I'm going to be making, obviously, is going to be I'm going to have this uh, rosette handle on the side, and then that's pretty much going to be it. The lens I'll be using is the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 with the Viltrox EF M2 speed booster. I'm just going to be capturing some 24p sample footage and uh, take from it what you will. I'll be sharing the settings at the end of this video, so uh, stay tuned for that. So the settings I use for this video are obviously like I said 4K 24p 100 megabits per second. My shutter speed was 1 over 50. So for the picture profile I use the natural profile with everything at negative 5 except for saturation which uh, in a previous video I tried negative 5 and that worked out fine for a really muted look but I went for negative 3 this time to mess with that to get a little more color information. But I imagine with uh, 100 megabits per second it's uh, keeping a lot of that color information anyway. Anyway, so negative three will be just fine. So what do you think? Do you think the G85's 24P is usable for you? Uh, or do you typically shoot in 60 frames per second and you might want to opt for something with a higher bit rate? Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.